hearty family meal, Adam Swanson's here to show us a delicious soup. Well, a brodo mm -hmm. in Italian soup. Brodo. Same thing. <laughs> so lentils, mushroom and pancetta, just. All my favourite things to eat. Yeah, full so of flavour. So what's the base of this soup? Well, we need to get some celery. Okay. All right, diced up. So you take that one. Yes. I'm going to slice up some pancetta. Okay. Now, just dice everything up the same size. That's the main thing, making sure that everything cooks in the same time. Mm -hmm. So, did you want to put that straight in there? Yeah, straight in. I'll give you a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. Fry that off. Now, with the garlic, we're going to add it and then we're going to remove it later. So, all I'm doing is taking my palm and just give it a squash uh -huh. into the pan for me. Okay. So, we're not leaving it in the soup? No, we're going to take it out after. So, we're going to let it flavour all our soup and then we're going to remove it. Don't want to eat a big clump of garlic. Yeah, love that idea. So, maybe you can help me with these mushrooms. Okay. And I'll get you to get this pancetta in there as well. Yes. A little bit of prep to get it started, but once it's obviously into the pot, then you let all the cooking and all the work go in that pot and it's done. I love this idea of adding the pancetta and the garlic and it's going to flavour that <laughs> oil and give us a delicious flavour, isn't it? It is. And don't forget, we're going to add one sprig of thyme as well, straight in. Okay. We're going to fish that out later also with our garlic. And give that a stir. Wow, that garlic yeah. smelling great. Nice. So all those flavours are coming out now. I know that the pancetta is releasing all that fat and that's where the soup just mm. tastes on mm, mm. bold. <laughs> celery needs to go in so we can cook down the celery and get rid of that crunch so it's nice and tender. Okay, there it goes. Very nice. We need to add the mushrooms. Yep. And some tomato paste. Okay. That's just a tablespoon. That's just really just to give a big bulk tomato flavour. Fabulous. Chicken stock in please. Chicken stock. Great. In with the passata also. It's about half of that. Beautiful. Lentils. So we've just got drained canned lentils here. Yep. I've always got some in my cupboard, so it makes it really one of those dishes that you can come home and make really easily. Now, lid on top, bring that up to the boil, and then we add in our pasta and cook it to al dente. Wonderful. Well, the pasta's cooked. Yes. Need to fish out our garlic and our thyme. I can see the garlic just there. Oh, lucky, hey? Lucky, very lucky. <laughs> and a little bit more there. So I'm just going to pick some basil leaves. Mm -hmm. No chopping. Just tear them if you like. I'll tear them. Yeah, sure. All right, stem and all. In we go. Give that a stir in. So the pasta's cooked in the soup. And this is the amazing thing about pasta. The flavour will go all the way through. We've got a hearty meal. Yeah. It's ready to go, isn't Ooh, it? Oh, yeah. So look at the casareche. So they've just opened up, nice long strands of pasta. I love the addition of mushrooms. Mushies in a soup. Yum. And I look love at your that. mushrooms, don't you? I do. <laughs> what do you call it? The brodo. The brodo, that's the one. Nice. And just a little splash of olive oil. Gorgeous. You need that. And the pasta wouldn't be without a little pecorino in this case. Mm, mm, mm. I think you need to try just. I think I do. There Thank you, you. Okay, I'm gonna have a bit of everything here. That Broth. Squeeze in. Mm. I'm happy. So good. Having just one taste of that entirely just feel nice and warm. So if it's cold outside, this is the soup for you, isn't it? It is. Don't forget, maybe a little bread. Oh! In she goes. Definitely mm. jealous. Mm. Following your lead. <laughs> mm. Very good.